Hello all, Carlos here. Today we will be talking about how to get creative with the event blocks, taking what we've learned from them in the badges even further. Before we get started, you should note that the block break event is the only one that works in the simulator. Luckily, it gives us plenty of room to experiment with and a chance to create some really cool mods. One of the badges in Learn to Mod teaches us how to have lightning strike at the location of the player every time a block is broken. Notice that we get to choose the location of where our lightning strikes. If we add drones, we can have lightning strike wherever we want. Let's make this mod more interesting and add a drone. First we will need to create the variable. We will name our drone D. Then we go under drones and drag the new drone tile. Cool. Now we have a functioning drone. Let's change the drone's location. Every time we run the mod, the drone will move forward three steps. We should also change the location of where the lightning is striking. Right now, the lightning will strike at the location of the player, which we can tell by the tile me. Let's get rid of that. And instead, we're going to have lightning strike at location of variable D, which is in fact our drone. Now let's test out our mod. Notice that every time we break a block, no lightning will strike because we have to press M in order to load our mod. I can also press C to get this third person point of view, which will let me get a better perspective of where our lightning is actually striking. Let me break a block here. Oh look, three steps in front of us. Seems to be that our lightning is working. This mod can easily be modified to create something much cooler. Let's move our drone's movement tile down here. Now it's going to move forward one and strike lightning every time we break a block. But we can make this much more interesting by adding a loop to it. There we go. Now our drone will move forward once, lightning will strike at that location, and it will move forward again, lightning will strike at that location. It will repeat that process 10 times. This will create a row of lightning that could be used as an attack or a defense mechanism for when we have a mob of creepers in front of us. Now let's test out our mod and see if the results have changed. Again, I'm going to press C to get a third person point of view and press M to load my mod. Every time I break a block, it actually creates a wall of lightning in front of me. The students can create new drones so lightning strikes at various locations or even add more functions that spawn mobs at the same location the lightning will strike. There's plenty of room to be creative with this.